Hi, welcome back to Project One Putt. Now I'm at level four, and there's two ways we can use this insert. First of all, I'm just gonna take you through the, the straight putt. Now the straight putt is really effective this way because the, the margin is so narrow, it's really gonna test out how good your, your start line is and also your speed control. I'm gonna actually start at one foot with this, with this drill and I'm gonna go back as far as I can, one foot intervals until I miss the putt. That's gonna give me a level where I can start from and as you keep performing and working on the drills, see, see if you can get as far back as you can. My best so far is 12 feet before I missed a putt. So let me just quickly go through and show you. So I'll start at one foot. And sometimes even if you're this close to the hole, because it's so narrow, you might have a tendency to start to get too technical. But the main thing is, is just to keep working on what we've discussed it further, making sure your start line's correct, and just going through the process, don't get too caught up in technique. So this is really gonna help you with making sure that your start line's correct and really building that confidence. Okay, so now I'm at five feet. So you can see there, it really takes a lot of really high intensity practice. And that's the perfect way to get better is to really make your practice much harder than what you can experience onto the golf course. So when you go onto the golf course, you can just naturally play and you're gonna have that confidence. So see how far you can get before you miss the putt and then keep adding on to those. So that's, that's one part of the drill. Now we'll go on to the second part. Hi, welcome back to Project One Putt. Now we're at level four but we're on the second part of the drill, which again, goes back to the same as we did through levels one, two, and three. It's all based on really identifying where our entry point's gonna be related to a straight putt and trying to use that to our advantage to maximize more putts. So with this tour version, you've got such a small narrow to aim in, so it's really important that you use everything that you've learned now to really try and maximize all that you're able to learn and really put that to use so that when you get into the golf course, the golf course is gonna seem a lot easier. So let me go through and show you, see if we can get through this drill. So again, it's a, it's a left to right putt, really having to work hard on my speed control and my entry point. But again, just imagine if you can putt like this, imagine how it's gonna feel like when you're out on the golf course. The idea of all this system is I want you to get onto the putting green or onto the golf course really wanting to putt. And that's gonna give you the most, the best mental approach to, to make more putts. If you think you can make them, then you're halfway there. So now it's really getting, starting to get tough. I'm out at six feet already. And yeah, the target's looking smaller and smaller, but the idea is just to maintain what you're doing, working those three steps and just letting the ball do the work. Try not to get too technical. Okay, so I just overread that slightly. So I'm gonna pick those up, start from there and try and get all the way out to nine feet.
Okay, now I finished that luckily. It's taken a while, but yeah, you can, you can imagine the intensity and the performance aspect of this type of putting. So imagine if you get through this, what, what you're gonna feel on the golf course, it's gonna become a lot more natural and you're not gonna be so pressured into to, uh, hitting bad putts because of the work that you've done.